بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم my dear students how are you i hope that you are fine fit safe and sound at home and uh, we are also fine over here in the last lecture we completed uh, the seventh age last scene of all and we completed the poem seven ages of man but uh, i do from the mind of students i do from the work of students that how they are good at uh, working and uh, how they can work hard to memorize the poem so in today's lecture what i am going to tell you is the most important of all lectures i will tell you that how to memorize the poem and how to prepare yourself for the exams aj asa padnda se ta je ko so memorize ki ke poem ke kada kada questions achi sakan ta questions paper mein poem ma ki dina dinda ne mcqs ki thaya dinda ne and je ko so paan jo paan yani ke poem ke yaad kiye ke the most important of all uh, in the last lectures in last seven lectures we studied the meaning and the history and the philosophy and today we are just studying that how to memorize that how to ask the questions how can we questions put out from the poem aj sirf aise sirf yo padnda se the questions kade tarike sa thaye sakden da unan da jawab kiye nahi sakden da एमसीक्यूज की थाय सकंदा पर उन का जवाब की थी सकंदा व्हाट इज द व्हाट क्वेश्चंस कुड बी एक्सपेक्टेड फ्रॉम द बोर्ड फ्रॉम द बोर्ड एग्जामिनर्स यानी कि जेके बोर्ड एग्जामिनर्स ने उन का केड़ा क्वेश्चंस एक्सपेक्टेड थी सकंदा वे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू एंड यू हैव टू थिंक एंड यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर यू हैव टू प्रैक्टिस दैट वे वे व्हेन यू आर अलोन means that you have to talk with yourself you have to ask the questions from yourself as i will tell you in art on the board and you have to do that practice at the home when you are alone because in last lecture i told you that the great philosophers the great wise men of the world the great scientists and the great people and the men of letters they always do practice of speaking with themselves of creating questions and answering those questions by themselves by himself by herself so today i will ask create the questions from this poem and i will answer those questions myself as well ma paan jo paan sawal tha in the poem ma i paan jo paan jawab din do in the poem ma the questions will be asked from this poem into the exams not out of that poem as the topic i have written that is a overview of poem that is how to memorize for exam the so we can say that overview of the poem that how to prepare yourself for the exams yani ke i have written whole poem on the board you must have book in hands as well the book of poetry part 2 yani ke poetry jo book ka ke pan hathan mein mujhe lazmi kar de if you are thinking that this writing is not clear something is missing in this writing you may see in your own book tau anje book mein nahi sago bhai na ke sathe tarike sa par ke sago that is why the book should be in your hands and the pen should be in your hands the register must be in your means that uh, hands means in front of you so that you can notice the questions so that you can consider that you can notice you can means that uh, I know how to make the questions number 1 the question we are going to start number 1 question what poem is about pehli question aap pacha chahunda se to for example what poem is about but after that who is who has written the seven ages of man the answer is very simple the shakespeare has written the seven ages of man from which drama that poem is taken that poem is taken from the 
famous drama of Shakespeare, what as you like it. That is, what is that? That is a speech that is uttered into the drama. Yani ke iyo shahi hai ke speech hai ke kaya in India shami drama mein. What is the word to the Shakespeare? Yes, in first line and in the first lecture I told you if you remember Jan ke chame to how the word is a state. Who is saying? Shakespeare is saying. The examiner is asking you question that what is the word to the Shakespeare? You will reply that the word is a stage to the Shakespeare. According to Shakespeare, the entire word is a stage. What is a stage? Stage shahe. Stage is a place. Stage is a place on what the drama is performed and actors imitate the life. यानी कि स्टेज आए रिक्रो ड्रामा की अड़ी जगह जिते ड्रामा परफॉर्म कयो वेंदो आ ए एक्टर्स छा कंदा ने लाइफ दी कॉपी कंदा ने सो इन द फर्स्ट लाइन वी पुट फ्यू क्वेश्चंस इन द सेकंड लाइन हाउ कैन वी मेक द क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम द सेकंड लाइन एज आई टोल्ड यू अगेन आई एम रिपीटिंग हाउ कैन वी मेक आउट द क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट लाइन इन द फर्स्ट लाइन वी आर द वर्ड इज अ स्टेज so what the question we made we we made the question that what is the stage to shakespeare the answer is that the to shakespeare the whole word is a stage and a, and again we can make a question that what is a stage a stage is a place where a performance is it done by the some actors where means that acting is done by the some actors of drama so in this line we means that it asks the questions that could be put by put by the examiner jp jp was examiner to the form khushi sajjan tha how can we make out the mcqs objective questions from this line in the line was objective question ki ta chai chalo for example all the world is a Dash to Shakespeare. Ah, uh, the word is a dash to Shakespeare. The word is dash removed and put a dash, and then to then you put a uh, another word to the Shakespeare. In options, you can say that is a drama, is a story, is a novel, is a stage. So, what is the right the right answer? Right answer is D. That is it. Stage. That is it. स्टेज यानी कि इन द राइट आंसर क्या थी दो स्टेज थी दो सो इन दैट वे यू कैन आस्क द क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम योरसेल्फ एंड यू कैन आंसर दोस क्वेश्चंस बाय योरसेल्फ एज वेल इन द नेक्स्ट लाइन हाउ कैन वी आस्क द क्वेश्चन इन द नेक्स्ट लाइन ऑल द मेन एंड वुमेन दे आर प्लेयर्स यानी कि व्हाट आर द मेन एंड द वुमेन फॉर द शेक्सपियर ऑल द मेन एंड वुमेन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड टू द शेक्सपियर all the men and women of the world for the shakespeare are merely actors are only actors yani ke sab pura duniya mein jeke bhi aur koi varda hai na ve ve shakespeare la shayar hai ve shakespeare la actors hai and in the next slide as i told you the meaning of the words and i have told you the philosophy of words as well in the next slide what he is saying दे हैव देयर एग्जिट्स एंड देयर इन्फ्लुएंसेस यानी के चले तो इन द नेक्स्ट लाइन अकॉर्डिंग टू शेक्सपियर हाउ मेन अपीयर्स ऑन द स्टेज ऑफ वर्ल्ड यानी के इफ द क्वेश्चन इज आस्क लाइक दैट एंड यू कैन मींस क्रिएट द क्वेश्चन लाइक दिस हाउ द मैन इज अपीयरिंग ऑन द स्टेज ऑफ वर्ल्ड मैन इज अपीयरिंग ऑन द स्टेज ऑफ वर्ल्ड बाय हिज बर्थ बिकॉज़ इन्फ्लुएंसेस मींस बर्थ and how he disappears from the stage of world and jab wo so jagah duniya ne jo stage of world to disappear ke thi wo he disappears from the stage of world by the day exists means day yani ki jab wo exists hum wo wo shaam wo day to wo so in that way you can make the questions so if we ask about the uh, very fundamental question that what could be made from this poem 
that what Shakespeare is narrating into the seven ages of man. Question child Shakespeare seven ages of man mein shah bayan kare to. So you can say that the Shakespeare is narrating the human history, the history of man's life from cradle to grave and according to him man lives life in seven ages at seven stages that is the answer of the that fundamental question that is asked from the poem seven ages of man we completed this thing and one man in his time plays many parts in his time i told you that in one man in his time time means life time means life i told you the meaning of this word in the a few lectures ago he said that one man in his time plays many parts means that how many parts man plays in his life that question could be asked you can say that he plays many parts he plays seven parts according to the shakespeare in his life the next question we can also ask his x being seven ages how many x he plays on the stage of world ghana x jabwa so who is the duniya ji stage te play kandwa so you can say that he plays how many x seven x on the stage of world yani ke jaga world or stage on the ghana x play kandwa he plays seven x at first the infant at first the infant you so you get this line you can ask a question like this what is the man at the first stage what is the status of man at the first stage so you can say that in first stage man is infant infant means baby yani infant ka matlab kya hai baby at first stage the man cha hua baby hua according to the shakespeare ke ke mutabik shakespeare ke mutabik hai what does he do on the first stage and what is the condition of the man on the first stage second question what could be asked from this stage in a stage ma pyo sawal je ko puchi sakte to wo ke roa what does he do on the first stage the who can he stay the sha kar dua and un ji pehli stage te condition kehdi liya ta sa chai sakunda Mewing and pucking in the nurse's arms, as answer is in this line, we can say that mewing means crying and pucking means lamenting. In nurse's arms means that in the lap of mother. So answer you can make that he cries, he cries and make dirty to the lap of his mother. He cries and make dirty to the lap of his mother. हाँ ये साइन है तो वधी के ना कुछ सिंह ना कर सको तो why does he do so यानी कि वो पांची मदर जी गोद में शोर मधुआ इतना में जगवा सो गंदगी शो फैलाई हुआ because he does so because he is senseless and helpless वो जगवा सो या इतना जे करे कंदवा शो जो वो शाम दुआ इन स्टेट पे senseless हूँ दुआ and plus शाम दुआ helpless हूँ दुआ so आई are you understanding my dear students so we are means that converting each line into the question and into the answers if you concentrate i am guaranteed that the questions will be asked from this poem by the board examiners will not out of these questions but i am right now making and giving you the answers but you must have the pen and register to notice and to make these questions and answers so we completed the first stage now what is the second stage as i told you that at the work you can put the question that what is the first stage of man according to the shakespeare so what was the first stage infant what does he do on the first stage he cries and remains remains in the lap of mother why does he do so because he is senseless and helpless now then the whining is good why whining means complaining means that shikayat kandal and jab was ready kandal beza ki jab was zahir kandal 
Why did the school boy with his satchel? With his satchel, satchel means school bag. Satchel means what? School bag. Oh, shall we have school in the shop? So we can ask the question. We can take the question from this line that what is the man on the second stage according to the Shakespeare? So we can say that man is a school boy on the second stage. Why? And then from the same line we can make another question that how why he complains why he complains to go to school why he does not go to school willingly he is a person willingly to school so many do are because he is not mature to understand right and wrong for himself he considers that as if his parents are doing a great injustice with him by sending him to school that is why he is a whining school boy and the very shop boy whining school boy boy shining boy in face sleeping like snail second line is that shining morning face creeping like snail yani ke subah jo hun jo chamkandar chehra hun jo why his face is shining in the morning that question could be asked so you can answer that because that baby is the cradle of hopes of his parents wo jeko baby hundo a wo panje parents ji उम्मीद जो हिंदोरो हुंदो आ दैट इज व्हाई इन एवरी मॉर्निंग दे वॉच हिम वेरी केयरफुली उनरे करे हर सुबह जो हु शा कंदा न उनके सुठे तरीके सा वॉश कंदा ने विंजा कंदा ने एंड दैट इज व्हाई हिज फेस इज शाइंस एंड उन दे करे उन जो फेस जे को सो शाइन क्रीपिंग लाइक स्नेल स्नेल मींस इंसेक्ट क्रीप मींस शाकन रेडी पाण जे को सो रेडियो पाण जा जे को सो जके जके जी यानी के शा करण कासे जे को सो लेटी ए घुमे जी जे को सो जीत जके घुमदा जे को जीतन जो घुमण हुंदो अपन क्रीपिंग तो होचे चले सो हाउ डज ही गो टू स्कूल यू कैन आस्क अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दीस थ्री वर्ड्स हाउ डज ही गो टू स्कूल ही गोस टू स्कूल लाइक क्रीपिंग लाइक अ स्नेल ही गोस टू स्कूल क्रीपिंग लाइक अ स्नेल हु इज स्कूल के विंदो अकॉर्डिंग टू द शेक्सपियर हु इज स्कूल विंदो अ क्रीपिंग लाइक अ स्नेल अनविलिंगली ही टू गो स्कूल एंड हाउ ही गोस टू स्कूल ही गोस टू स्कूल अनविलिंगली हु इज स्कूल के विंदो अ अनविलिंगली विंदो अ एंड इन व्हाट सिचुएशन ही गोस टू स्कूल केडी सिचुएशन में स्कूल विंदो अ ही जब वो सो अनविलिंग नेक्स्ट वर्क सिचुएशन में स्कूल so we completed two stages now come towards the third stage that uh, what is the in the third stage what question first it could be yani ki third stage ma pehli question shaati sake to we can ask that uh, then the lover then the lover means that this is the third stage so what is the third stage of man according to the shakespeare that could be the question around the third stage so you can answer very simply that according to the shakespeare third stage of man is the stage of a lover the tan jab aap so aasani se answer dei sako da the man ko ye ka third stage of wife stage ke achhi stage of lover ji stage of and in the second line sign like furnace with a wolf ballet with a wolf ballet yani ke in the second line you can ask the question that uh, how does he live life how does he live life on the third stage when he become the lover he he means lives life as if something is burning in the fire his emotions are too hard too high and it uh, means that uh, too gigantic gigantic yani ke unhe atma bada hua hai with a wonderful ballet with a wonderful ballet means that uh, he tries to compose his poetry that is full of sad story what i want to show you are full of sad story in india not in the class of sad show in india come in india that is made to his mistress eyebrow eyebrow means that the beauty of his beloved the face of his beloved and the whole body of his blood mistress means blood made to his mistress jeka who composed kandwa kanjila panji mehboob lai 
and how in, in this stage another question could be asked how the word looks to the man on the third stage the whole word and the entire word looks beautiful to the man on the third stage and what does it word do with the man on third stage the word captivates the man on the third stage and what does he do he starts to love everything of the world on third stage that is why shakespeare is saying that lover is the third stage of a man so these questions could be asked from the this stage the fourth stage what questions could be from the fourth stage i can tell you yani ke chauthi stage mein kada sawal thi se ganda marwa to da sala do then the soldier first question what could be you can imagine now you can observe that what is the what is the man on the fourth stage manu jab wo aasa sare chauthi stage pe so answer you can now give me because you can guess the answer because we have been practicing practicing these all the means uh, things uh, that how to make a question and how to give a answer the hani jab ko sushar chanda se the man is soldier on the fourth stage according to the shakespeare why Shakespeare is giving the name of soldier to the fourth state because on the fourth state man is very beautiful and he is very competitive to the world. He dunya ka sa hunga tamam man competitive hunga. He wants to earn the name and fame on this state. He what does he want to do on this state? The answer shall do. He wants to earn fame and name on this state. And how he wants to gain the fame and name on this stage he wants to get the fame and name on this stage by the temporary actions by the temporary actions by the facing any type of danger by the facing any type of danger yani ki har kisi jo danger jab wo aso face kar raha hai jab wo aso chha kar raha hai unam jab wo aso har kisi jo danger face kar raha hai shurat hasil kar raha hai jab chahe wo tem but how is his condition on the soldier stage in the jk as a soldier stage the condition charm dia in the soldier stage the condition charm dia means that on the stage of soldier he is jealous of other means that the people who are honorable in the society he becomes jealous from them and uh, then the justice what now the fifth stage what is the fifth stage according to the shakespeare Fifth stage is the stage of justice. Where if a jaga panchi stage or a kadi stage hundiya, justice stage hundiya. In fair ground, very but with a good capable man. How he looks on the fifth stage? Where fifth stage the man ki nazar ingwa, he becomes very fat. He becomes very fat and his stomach comes out. Why his stomach comes out? and why he becomes very fat that question again could be asked because he eats lots of food he earns enough and he eats it enough he tamam ghan kamaiwa and tamam ghan khaiwa that is why he becomes fat so what is the fifth stage fifth stage is the stage of justice so we can say that what is the man on the fifth fifth stage according to the shakespeare the answer is that man is justice on the fifth stage how he looks at this stage he looks and what he becomes at this stage in a state the hushat in dua in the nazar in dua in fair round belly in fair round belly means fat his stomach comes out he becomes fat in the pet of bar in the dua in the puri jo ko hushat in dua low the dua and with good kepan land why he becomes fat and what is the reason because he eat lots of food he earns enough and eat enough that is why he becomes fat in the pressure in the fat the raw full of wise as how he means that think and what is his mind he is thinking with the wisdom his mind is full of wisdom how he communicates he communicates with the the wise and sanity 
with the wise step by with the wisdom and the serenity shasan je ko as kamai pet kandwa wisdom sakandwa serenity kandwa serenity sakandwa is the same sir full of wisdom in the wisdom in charge of the wisdom sankar la hai na and modern instances and je ko as jadi misalan sa ad tarike sa mushra kandwa fifth stage puri kandwa the sixth stage what is second last stage what how he becomes on this stage he becomes lean yani ke ucha thindwa in this state the cha thindwa kamzor thindwa he becomes weak and the sleeper and jalun what he wears on this stage and how he looks on this stage he wears floppy clothes floppy dress and he looks like a joker on this stage who jab was vikra kapda paindwa and joker lagandwa in this state the with his spectacles on nose उनके जब कोई सो चश्मा लेके इन सो नरेड कहने दे नकत लाइना बाय बिकॉज़ ही लूजेस द फिटनेस सो स्पेक्टिकल्स डस नॉट फिट ऑन हिज आईज दैट इज व्हाई स्पेक्टिकल ऑन नोस पाउच ऑन साइड पासिंग बेगुंडस हिज यूथफुल होस वेल सेव्ड अ वर्ल्ड टू व्हाई दे किन रे जवान या जोरा बंदा ने वो इन रे तमाम बड़ा इनला ने फॉर हिज सिंग चेंज इन दी नंद ने इन सनद इन जंगुल बाय तमाम बड़ा इनला ने and is it manly and his big manly voice and he's a very good man he's a very good man he's a very good man